Jonathan Levin here. Uh, uh, thanks for joining me on this lesson uh, on uh, the emoji system. So I'm coming to you from my uh, my new studio, which uh, I spent a lot of time getting that together, and uh, it was kind of a rough go for a while. And then uh, I hope you had a good holiday. Uh, mine was, uh, you know, I did have a chance to celebrate and uh, uh, responsibly. No one celebrates as responsibly as me because I have students that I have to take care of. And uh, they count on me because I'm, I'm really good at what I do. I can't tell if I'm sweating or if, if my, uh, I've sprung a leak above my eyebrow, but I don't know what could be leaking out. The uh, emoji system is uh, Friedrich Coxton's Schneckenhofen method. There's a lot of consonants in, in the name. I just call him Ricky because we're good friends. I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of this, and uh, he was a great advocate of uh, the Schneckenhofen method. I had to teach myself Coxton's theory of uh, the Schneckenhofen. I took it a little further to do the emoji system. The first one I'm going to teach you is the what they call the major sound, but it's, it's, just think of it as a happy sound. So when you play this chord, or this note, just think of everything that I'm teaching you in terms of, as a, as a note, even though I'm playing a lot of notes because I'm old and horrible, I'm just showing you this so that when you get old, you'll know what to do. The first emoji is the smiley emoji. And that goes like this. You don't even have to know what note it is. It's a, it's a C, by the way. I think it's a C. One, two, three. Yes, C. See how happy? I don't think I've ever been this happy. And you should be too. So now we're going to play my favorite chord, which is based off a minor emoji. It's a suicidal chord. This is the chord where Jimmy Stewart jumps into the river in It's a Wonderful Life. That's how sad it is. And you know what happens after that? We end up in Donald Trump's world. See how sad? The sadder you are, the better it sounds. So, you know, it really, I mean, if you're really depressed, I mean, you're never gonna sound better than that. You should be having the same feelings that you have when, when a pet dies or a plant. I mean, it's so sad, I feel like killing myself. Um, but I won't, at least not on camera, where you can see me. Um, you'll get the, ha the hang of it. it. Must be time for lunch almost. Now we're going to talk about the dominant sound. The dominant is sort of a mixture of minor and major. It's happy but sad. It's not as unhappy as the minor. or as happy as the major. You know, if you want to play those three together, it would be dominant. Minor. Major.
And then we'll work on uh, half diminished, they're called, and the full honking diminished. And uh, there's a whole lot of things that happen in that, and just to think about it is unbelievable. You're already better than, than you were like just a few minutes ago. I want to just show you real quick how uh, music used to be written. As you can see, this is what used to be a beginning study for my students. And uh, it's a simple little thing. I, I play it at a faster tempo. This is how the emoji system will look on paper here with a nice background that I created. It took me a long time to do that, much longer than I had hoped. Anyway, uh, if uh, you're working on these exercises and you, you find you're really enjoying doing these, uh, there's a very good possibility that you're doing them all wrong. Okay, well, that's uh, all the time we have for this lesson on uh, Coxton's Schneckenhofen method. And uh, I want you to work on these things. Um, I also want to remind you that uh, the dues are coming up. And I don't want to have what happened last time where I had a whole bunch of rubber checks from you guys. I've got a, a, a bunch of car repairs I've got to do, and when you live in Chicago, you, you really need brakes on a car. Can't rely on the emergency brake all the time. So I need to get some work done on that. I'd like to modify the engine a little bit. I want to put in a, uh, a muffler, would be good. You know, I also need your money so you know I can take care of my cat, Doug. One thing you should really not feed a cat I found is uh, gas X. It's really not the right thing to feed them or chocolate, mm -hmm. I've heard. Mm -hmm.